Hey guys. Hey. Uh, thanks for taking the time to come and join us here. Um, hopefully you're going to see us launching our new channel. Uh, we've set up Patreon. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Patreon is, it is a method of allowing you guys to support us on a monthly basis to try and help us bring you exclusive, exciting and fun content onto our new channel, Driftland TV. Yeah, absolutely. The, obviously, the videos that we've made so far and the vehicles that we've bought and built, uh, you know, they're not free. Hmm. I hope you've enjoyed us uh, playing with them. We've definitely had a great time. Yeah, it's great time uh, mucking about them, but we'd love to do more. Obviously, budgets and stuff, uh, you know, don't stretch on forever. We can't keep buying stupid double-ended escorts uh, by mistake. Uh, but we'd love to. <laughs> so <laughs> if we're hoping you have any listeners. <laughs> We're hoping that a few of you guys can come on board and support us on a, on a monthly basis, allow us to make more and more and more absolute nonsense. Is it um, expensive to take part? It starts at less than a dollar wow. and it goes up to about $150, cool. but for that you get drift experiences, you get to come along on our video shoots, you get loads of Driftland merchandise, there's all sorts. Take a look, have a look at the different tiers. As I said, they start off at a dollar and they go right up to 150 and there's everything in between. So give them a little peck, I'm sure that you'll find something. And it means we get to make more videos, which <laughs> means good. you get more entertainment on, uh, on YouTube. Yeah, I think we are totally hoping to get some more of you guys in the community involved in what we do as well and uh, really share Driftland and Driftland TV with you guys too. So I think Patreon and becoming a subscriber, supporting us, help us give back to you and hopefully make Driftland and Driftland TV what we really want it to be. Yeah, so to start off, we're going to give you some bonus footage of um, a helicopter that flew over site randomly one day. Mm -hmm. We've recently just managed to acquire this footage. It was filmed on a 3.3 million pound camera rig. Uh, it's pretty cool, so let's go take a look at it. Okay, so here's the video we were talking about. This has been filmed from a helicopter with a police spec camera on the bottom of it. Pretty cool. It starts off just flying over the stock car track. So you can see the cafe, you can see Driftland at the back there. Somebody having a little spin down oh, in yeah. the S's. Who's this? And Red E46. E46. Yeah. This looks like uh, something out of police interceptors here. And they <laughs> just about caught the guy <laughs> and he spun. They've oh, there's somebody the else. What's that? It's a. Uh, that's oh, an RX-8. The one JRX-8 that used to belong to Duncan and now belongs to uh, Dango. What would Dango do? Probably say something terrible. Yeah. You can see the new Nico section's not there along the back oh, yeah. straight. The concrete curbs are not being filled in. Look, all the grass is missing as well. Yeah. We put curbs all the way around the outside of this corner as well, which you don't see anymore. Completely gone. All the tires still on the old go kart track. Our curbs are now red and blue. They are. Oh, look at the big blocks that we've got rid of. That yeah. E46 is causing absolute oh, chaos. Almost has been clean <laughs> off the track. That's a good point to pause it actually. As you can see there, our cart centre with some people out on the balcony. And then our new offices aren't there. You What's can see that really nice yellow car over there? The real car is my 540. But what's more interesting is your M3 is just in front of oh, that yeah. uh, before it got painted. We've got Tad's... Uh, A86, the yep. gold one with the FC20 uh, S2000 engine in it. Yep. And then just in front of that, that is Stu Bryant's missile car from the Bash. Wow. And behind that is Mad Missile Car from the Bash, I think, because it looks like it's got that big dent in the door. Yeah. So it's pretty cool to see that old stuff. And the containers are all the way now as well. Yeah, I think we probably still had go karts at that point. How dare you? I think we did. If you look just right up in the top corner here, you can see the bonnet on my GT86 oh, yeah. that we had and the old the old uh, Land Cruiser. There's no briefing room there either. Yeah, offices and briefing room not there. Let's see what else. I think the caravans will still be there. Yeah, there, there they are. There he is, caravan stinking, friend. Stinking, stinking things. So let's see how Duncan does there. You can see we've just got little concrete curbs in where the Nico section now is. Absolutely no fill-ins at all through the S's there. That E46 is doing some nice grip work there. Yeah. Duncan getting a bit of smoke on there. This is some proper cool footage. Yeah, there is no chance that anyone else would be able to give you this footage. Look, we're just in the middle of the power lines here, that's crazy. You can see all the concreting that we keep doing every year. We put more concrete down. More and more. And every year you guys dig up and smash it off. Whoa. He's actually linked up. No, almost. 
So it was that Aldo Sport. That was the guys that painted that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. This was uh, Bernie's mate, the guy that used to have the Mark II Escort with the Jay-Z in it. And I think we get a big right. zoom out here, you get to see the whole site there, wow. which is really cool. Let's have a little pause quickly. Look at Monster Truck Land. <laughs> yeah, Digger Land down the back wow. there. So uh, a lot of you guys probably haven't seen or, or been aware of just how big the Driftland site is and how much more space there is. So one day, with enough patrons, we could uh, build a much bigger track, but we'd need a lot of patrons for Yeah, that. I think so. Many, many thousands. A lot but look of patrons. all that space. The room for activities. Yeah, so much room for activities. Wow. So, that was pretty cool. Uh, as we said, we were ch we've been, the whole point of this has been to let you guys know about our patron. Um, even if it is literally just so that Ren will get a haircut because he looks like a scruffy homeless man. Yeah. Um, so a couple of dollars here and there, we'll get Ren a haircut and he won't be so offensive to our eyes. So thanks for watching. As I have, check out our Patreon, the link will be down in the, in the descriptions. Let us know if you think we've missed a, a tier or if you think there's a benefit or something that you guys would like uh, us to offer as part of the packages. Are you like that, anything else, Rennie? I just want to see, hopefully, as many of you guys giving as much subscriptions as you can, commenting on all the videos that you can see, and we'll be right in touch and chat with you back. And just help you help us make Driftland and Driftland TV what we want it to be. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Catch you next time.